Ashland Plaza getting a remodel this winter. New Sense Caitlin Conrad's in the News Center with the latest on the plans. Caitlin? Trish, the city council voted last night to move forward on the plaza redesign. City administrators say sprucing up the downtown area is not just about aesthetics, it's a necessity. The Ashland Plaza is the heart of the city, but city leaders say the trees and current landscape can't handle all the people who visit. It's worn out. The plaza is a deteriorating asset. Now the city has a plan to fix the problems and protect the landmark for the future. Because the plaza is so heavily used, the best way to make it more useful and to protect the trees is actually to increase the amount of hardscape. The new plaza redesign eliminates the grass, adds tree-friendly pavers, and installs walls around the trees. There is so much pedestrian traffic on the turf areas in the plaza and the tree roots are so close to the surface that there's really nothing that you can do in terms of landscaping. You'll never be able to get anything to grow there. But not everyone is in love with the new ideas. There were a couple of people on the council that voted against it and I would have voted the same if I were on the council. Nancy Johnson says she loves spending time relaxing on the plaza and she doesn't want to see the grass disappear. Gee, these wooden benches are a lot more comfortable than concrete. And uh, I understand there's going to be a lot of cement. The new design will add about six more trees to the plaza over time, but because three are dying, they will have to be moved. Canner says this isn't the first time the city has changed the plaza. Well, the plaza has been updated every 15 to 30 years. Um, the city will go in and they'll do something. He says when all is said and done, he thinks people will be pleased with the new look. What will happen is people will come back in the spring and they'll look around and say, wow, this is really nice. The project will cost the city just under $170,000. Construction is scheduled to begin in January. Covering your news, Caitlin Conrad, News 10.